the morning around i try to wake up around uh, probably around 6 uh, it depends on the earlier day if i had a very night uh, very late night uh, then i am not able to wake up as early as that but normal day around 6:15 and 6:30 i go to the gym and then then i go to the independence square and uh, sit and just watch the crowd for about 20 20 minutes and then uh, come back home um, have my just one fruit breakfast uh, get ready and then the ministry or the parliament and then uh, around 3 4 i come back then uh, if i can probably have a uh, siesta small nap half an hour and then back to work mm -hmm. and then in the afternoon couple of other events probably um, if not then i make my calls i do my business calls mm. and my um, i'm building some stuff um, and um, get busy with that mm -hmm. and then call my mom once in a way mm. and then uh, probably if i have a free uh, evening meet up with my friends mm. that's a typical day okay. but normally it's very busy with the edb with the boi with the ministry yes so, uh, spur of the moment they give uh, tell me there's a meeting so i have to go and deliver a speech or so uh, it's quite busy yeah writing i do as uh, as much as i get uh -huh. opportunity mm -hmm. um, i'm writing i've been writing well when i was young even i can remember in candy uh -huh. i used to ride all the mountains and uh, the lake also okay so uh, yeah i love riding i love motorbike riding also okay i've been riding from the small days uh -huh. when i was about 10 i was riding motorbikes okay And cars I've been driving, not collecting, I have okay. about uh, six cars, yeah, okay. um, small you collection, a, uh -huh. not too many. I should be able to drive everything I have, Okay. so a couple of old cars and uh, one or two new ones also. Okay. When I was the operation, I used to drive a sports... Uh, uh, Aston at, Martin? No, that's my brother's. Okay. I had a sports Mercedes, uh -huh. so it's parked in my cousin's house actually. Okay. Uh, so, um, while I was the operation, about I think six, seven years ago, I, I used to drive that. Um, I like to do fun things, ah. jet skiing, everything. I'm good at most of the sports actually, yes. so uh, I can pick up very fast. Uh -huh. So uh, from my small days, I've been doing all that. Yes. I play a little bit of golf, um, everything. I do everything. So I used to do a little bit of horse riding. It's fun, uh, okay. uh, but didn't have the time to continue. I would love if I can even now. Right. To own a horse and to ride, but it's not easy in Kalam. Yes. Unless you have a bit of a unless bit you of go to the riding school or something. Or as I must I must buy a property. Ah where yes, I can, where you uh, can a go Small ride. estate or something, then I I could yeah. Yes. My favorite song, Brilliant Disguise, would be one of them. Uh -huh. Close to you by Maxi Priest is uh, another one. And uh, Singhala, there are so many Clarence's uh, songs, I, couple of, I like a couple of them. Um, Gypsies, I love them. Amradeva, there are a couple of nice songs. Mm. Uh, I used to sing also. I, yeah, I won about three competitions when I was young. Uh -huh. And you have acted also in movies? I acted also, yes. Ah, okay. You <laughs> yes, uh, Master of None. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, not really. I, I, I don't. I don't. Uh, it's not good for us as okay. uh, politicians. We can't do the same thing as uh, normal people do. Yes. They have to take I, ourselves a bit serious. Uh, even though we do, we love to do things. Uh, in a private gathering, I would do that. Yes. But now, because I can see uh, everybody singing, and uh, so, so sometimes it might uh, get out of hand as well. Okay. Kind of. uh, so once in a way it's all right, yes. uh, but it's not, not to like, project it not to project yourself uh, singing because we have to take seriously. We are, we are not there to sing. Yeah, we are there to uh, actually uh, uh, do, do service, do service yes. to the people. Yes. So uh, in a mild way, at a party or something, if somebody pushes me, I will, I will sing. Okay. Otherwise, um, I don't, I don't make uh, fun out of myself. <laughs> yes. I love fashion. I, I, I love fashion. I, I always create uh, for myself. I don't buy expensive uh, uh, 
clothes. Um, uh, I, I don't go for brands, but whatever I buy and I try to uh, kind of uh, combine it with shoes and uh, jeans and shirts and uh, uh, so I love fashion. Tarok is the most, uh, that is because I am a politician, if I was not a politician, uh, it's, uh, I would have, uh, but no, I wear shorts, I wear jeans, I, when I go abroad, you could see I am totally different. <laughs> I wear slim jeans, I wear slim jackets and yeah. uh, now I would look odd if I am in slim jeans and in a t-shirt if I am talking to all, I don't look like a, so uh, uh, depends on the occasion. Yes. But I love fashion, it, even in sarong and shirt I love, love to create fashion mm. and colour combination. And no, that is also what I said, I would love if I was in India or if I was not a politician, I would have loved to do it. but. Uh, as a politician, my responsibility is different now. Mm. So I have to, uh, I have a uh, lot of other things to do. So a lot of uh, work to uh, uplift the poor, uh, women's empowerment programs, and that I, my my whole salary goes for the women's empowerment, uh -huh. my parliament salary, uh, poverty eradication. It's a, it's not a rich country, Sri Lanka. A lot of people uh, don't have ends meet, so. Uh, mm. You have to have to work hard for the future, so everybody would have a decent mm. uh, living standards. Yes. So uh, my my obligations are those now. It, it, it is no. You have to be. This is a country that we have. Uh, it's a long time that we have been like uh, trying to. Uh, we were not in power for 20 years, mm. so we can't just uh, pick up all of a sudden. Uh, actually, a company or a factory. Which has been destroyed. You can't all of a sudden pick it up and run <clears throat> just within six months or one year. So the the, the fall there was actually a economic collapse in the country. Mm. So the huge the loans, debts. So we had to uh, hold it and just keep it in one place and then get the foundation done. Because the foundation had been uh, eroded. Mm. So we got the foundation, good governance. Uh, this is not easy. Yes. Uh, democracy, rule of law, transparency. We are not even used to this. Mm. So first we got that uh, organized. Yes. Uh, so system. Not mm. the system. Not. I'm not saying everything has come together and then we have the perfect world. Mm. But we have got the system right. So yes. on the top of the system, then we are getting the mechanism right now. Yes. We didn't have a mechanism to get mm. approvals for investments and uh, faster track and a uh, friendly environment. We never had those. So now we are trying to get that. Uh, our our electricity uh, uh, bills are very high. So we have to, if you want to attract the, the investors, we must get that uh, uh, lowered. So we are trying, we are working on LNG, we are working on other sources. So uh, we are trying to put the foundation, right? I think uh, you can see uh, a fast development within about uh, two or three years. Hmm. 